Hi everyone, this is Sri Niveta, fellow at Alpha AI. I'm a working professional too. This is my very first project with Alpha AI. It was based on creation of dashboard using Excel on US Superstore. So I had extracted the data set of US Superstore for a period of four years from 2014 to 2017. As you can see, this data set consisted of various key performance indicators, the KPIs, like a ship date, ship mode, customer ID, name, segment, country, city, state, postal code, region, and the product-based attributes like the category, subcategory, ID and product name, and the other monetary attributes such as the sales, quantity, and discount, profit included all these revenue based attributes so this is what my data set consists of i will take you to my dashboard so this dashboard of mine has focused on three unique stories such as the sales trend the product association and the customer segmentation so based on sales so based on sales this visualization and analysis are done over region state and time the first one as you can see it is a descending order of sales and profit the west region has been the highest contributor to the sales and profit while the south has been the least contributor so from moving from this region based visualization to the state based which will give a profound picture of the detailed over region okay so here montana is the state that has been the largest contributor from the west towards the sales and profit while we have the connecticut from the east that has been the least contributor and sales trend over the chronological period that is time so uh, we can see the sales trend over the four years from 2014 to 2017 over the four quarters of a particular year for instance as we can see in the year 2017 the quarter one has had the highest profit but it has been relatively less in sales whereas in the fourth quarter the profit has gone down and the sales has gone up this perhaps will give a picture to the business user if a margin of sales had been reduced to increase the sale which in turn reduced the profit so moving on to our next story the product association so this visualization is done based on category and subcategory we have three unique categories the furniture the office supplies and the technologies so for the first instance we find the chairs and tables have had a good amount of sales but the profit of cha uh, chairs has been good whereas the tables has faced a loss you can see the negative graph so over this it shows that the chairs and tables though the sales have been really good there has been a profit for one and loss for the other so this will give the business users a picture where the margin of tables has to be increased so how can this be done this can probably be done by bundling or technically called as the product association the chairs and tables which go hand in hand can be bundled together to provide an offer to the customers which will make them buy both by increasing the margin of tables and thus increasing the profit in tables so this this is how the visualization will be inferred and implemented by the business users so let's move on to the third story which is the customer segmentation so this story is mainly based on the customer preferences or the perspective so the business users will be able to understand and comprehend the customers needs and demands preferences and perspective and which will in order help them increase the sales so first we can see the top five customers listed down here so based 
on this the customers the loyal customers can be identified and not only this the customers can be segmented based on the rfm model which is the recency frequency and monetary so these the recent customers the ones who have been really frequent and ones who have contributed to the largest amount of sales the monetary so based on all these factors the customers can be segmented into the loyal customers offering them the loyalty card or the loyalty points which will always keep them coming back to the store for more purchase and the least customers can also be identified and also they can also be offered discounts and offers for them to come back and buy something from the store and next we see the most preferred ship mode region wise so here we can see that the standard class has been most prevalent over united states followed by the second class and we can also see the most popular segment the most popular segment has the, has been the consumer followed by the corporate and the home office so how can this home office users be increased to become the most popular or relatively popular that can be uh, visualized or analyzed using this particular visualization so we can see uh, this particular visualization is done based on discount uh, on segment over category so probably from the home office segment we find the discount is 60% that is given to furniture while well, the consumers have been offered 70% on furniture so probably if the home office users are also given a 70% discount or more in for furniture then more home office users might try to increase the sales so here we have listed the top 5 products of the customer's choice so be it the copier to the binding system so based on these top 5 products also we can also understand the customer customer's current needs and demands so coming back to our dashboard this as a whole dashboard will give the business users what to prescribe to the company for improving the sales and marketing strategies and thus enhancing the sales in this dashboard we have also included the slicers on ship mode segment category order date and state so these slicers will help filter out on what is actually needed like based on corporate and based on state so we can see all of the graphs actually changing based on all these criteria so as we can see every graph is changing based on this and we can also increase the chrono increase or decrease the chronological timeline over a particular period of time based on a preference so i would like to take this opportunity to thank team alpha ai especially saurav preksha and sunakshi for all the guidance and providing me such a wonderful opportunity i would also recommend every one of you to try and explore this world of excel and reap its wonders just as i did thank you all